hi guys welcome back to my channel i hope you are all well i thought today since it is valentine's day it's not actually valentine's day today but approaching he's not actually allowed upstairs and he's always in my videos up here hey baby back to where we were talking so i thought as it's valentine's day approaching obviously we can't really do much because there's nowhere's open and you know for like all you single ladies normally you'd go out with your girls and you can't so i thought what perfect time to do a little self-care day because as you might see you can say yes you can see i will not be offended i have let myself go a little bit this is how i kind of like look every day and it's kind of bringing me down i look horrendous it's okay to say i really do so we're gonna do something about that so i'm gonna bring you on this little journey it's gonna be a little vlog of the day i guess of just me looking after myself and going from this to hopefully a bit better than this you know so i guess we'll get started what are you doing he's not what I'm gonna do is I can't answer whether I should wash my hair. I don't think I'm actually gonna wash my hair. If you know me, and I do talk about this all the time, like, I just don't like washing my hair, and I do it very little, and like I just don't want to wash it today. So that's probably not gonna be addition, an addition. But you know, you could do a hair mask if you wanted to. But what we're gonna do is I'm gonna shower, I'm gonna scrub and shave because I've not done that in a while. I'm not going to lie. I did lift my armpits up yesterday, and Ryan was literally like, "What the fuck?" Because I just kind of forgot about them. So I'm gonna shave and I'm gonna tan. I'm gonna do a face mask. I'm gonna do that thing where you like derma play at home like shave your face i'm just gonna have a general little make myself feel better i'm gonna maybe make my favorite dinner just things that i think we should do to take care of ourselves so if you're watching this and you're also feeling shit then do it with me to start the video i've been to starbucks am i is this even straight i think i'm wonky but i feel like you'll have to go over it i look literally like a bag of shite so that's where all this self-care shit's coming from i've already been to starbucks and got my favorite drink want this so I've already went to Starbucks and got my favourite drink, which is a iced matcha latte with oat milk and a vanilla syrup. I hate the new cups, the straw, the, the ice comes through. I've also picked up the Isle of Paradise self tanning drops to try these. So I'll let you know how these are. I've picked up a little sheet mask from Boots. I've got a bottle of water on the go because as I keep saying, I'm trying to drink more water. Kind of unrelated, but also not unrelated. I walked to Audi the other day, treating myself to a new candle because I'm trying to go on many more. He's literally watching what I'm doing. I'm trying to go on more walks because that's self care ladies. So if you're sat at home feeling shit and you live near an Audi, walk to Audi and go and buy yourself a candle. They're about three pound fake Yankee candles and I really like the smell of this one. It's kind of sweet, but at first I smelled it because I didn't have a great selection. So at first I smelled it and I was like, hmm, don't like that. But then I smelled a bit more and I was like, I do like that. So that was self-care the other day, but it would be good if I could do it all today, but it's not got time. When you're watching this, it'll be a Sunday. So, you know, walk to the shop. Do you want to smell this? Do you like that? Oh, I think he likes the smell of that. What do you reckon? He really likes the smell of that. Don't lick it, idiot. I don't like that now, actually. A really big thing for self-care, actually, is to have a tidy room because tidy room, tidy mind. And if you saw one of my other videos, you'd know I'm really not a tidy... Well, any of my videos in the past. I'm not a tidy person. Excuse me. Don't touch what you can't afford. I think that offended him. Okay, I've spoke for seven minutes about self-care, so now I'm actually going to implement it. And the first things first is I'm going to have a shower, which I'm not going to bring you along for, because that's a bit weird. See so yeah, after my shower. Oh, I did actually get some new slippers. These are from ASOS. I think they were £10, and I think they're really cute. So if you need new slippers for our self-care journey, go ahead and order them. I'll link them below, just in case you like them. I mean, I think they're cute. Okay, I'll see you after my shower. Candles lit. Self-care ladies, look after yourselves out there. Okay, guys, my shower has been had. I, well, I am listening to music, but... I don't want to get copyrighted, so that's why I'm just in silence right now. But I thought I'd show you like my products of what I use in the shower and what I like. So yeah, that's it basically. My favourite shower gel in the world, which I've actually spoken about on my channel before, but I just love, is the Moroccan Sunset and Golden Argan Oil. Moroccan Spa Shower Cream, fave. Then I actually, this is obviously unsponsored, but I just feel like I have to say that. Just use this, so kind of gross. The Estrid like razor subscription things. Mine's pink. It like, you can hang it on your, like comes with a thing to hang. And it also comes with this sleeping bag thing, duvet as my boyfriend calls it. Let's put it in. I pay 10 pound every two months. So basically five pound a month. And that gets you four heads every two months, four heads every two months. So you get two heads a month, which for me is fantastic. Now I'm going to do that um, diamond planing thing where you shave your face because I've never actually done it. I've shaved my whole body. So I'm going to be bold from the eyebrows down. I know you're not meant to shave when you're tanning and like, I don't normally shave when I'm tanning. I just exfoliate, but I've done it now. Who's going to stop me? Are they going to shoot me? I didn't get that reference. Please don't subscribe. Joking. Love you. 
I've got to show you what face stuff I use. I'm going to sit down, you know? Because I'm having a pamper day, I thought I'd use my more luxurious items. So I used the Charlotte Tilbury Goddess Cleansing Ritual, two-step ritual. Obviously, I didn't buy this for myself. I got it for Christmas. I'm not out here spending all this money. It makes your skin feel really nice. Can't lie, if anyone has or has had horses, it smells like, you know, like the citrus spray, like the fly spray that you use in the summer. Stop them getting bitten. It smells like that. I just outed myself as an ex-horse girl. I'm not weird, though, I promise. Is this inappropriate? Because I'm in a towel. I feel like it is. I'm gonna put a dressing gown on because I feel a bit weird. Because it looks like I'm naked, but I'm not. Is this weird? Like sitting like this, it feels weird talking to myself. But like I can see you here. I've relocated to my mum's room so that I can sit in front of this window from the mirror. So hi mum. I'm gonna just talk to you like this for now. I use these face razors from they're from amazon illuva it says eyebrow razor i use these to shape up my eyebrows and all my mustache because if you're dark haired like me you'll understand the struggle but i've never actually shaved my whole face but i've always wanted to because it just makes your skin look dead glowy and nice but i was always worried because i have such dark hair that it would just like go stubbly but today we're just kind of like winging it because who cares i've kind of googled what to do a bit but i'm no professional so probably google this yourself don't really copy me it says cleanse then do it when your skin's a bit damp and mine's now gone dry i'm gonna just go and dampen my skin and then let's get started i believe what you do like all i know is you just kind of like pull your skin and do it i'm kind of scared what do you do for ages oh my god i am scared <gasps> whoa oh my god it gets so much fluff off your face is that gross for me to show you Ugh. is that gross if you didn't like that i'm really sorry you can like see it so this exfoliates your skin it's not just like shaving it's a form of exfoliation Oh my god. Always wanted to do this, but I was just scared. My skin felt kind of dry, so I've just like dampened it again. Because it felt like weird. This feels so weird to do. I feel like you get the gist, so I'm going to stop recording and just do it all now. Face is shaved. I'm not 100% how I feel about it. It does feel soft. But like when you go that way, it feels kind of weird, but if it does feel soft. I'm gonna do a face mask, make my hair not look like this anymore, and just kind of do the bits that are gonna make me feel pretty. Because I feel butters and fake tan. I can't get this hair bubble out of my hair. Look at the state of me. I really have let myself go. If you're interested in how I do this, I guess this uh, section is for you. I use a, oh, it's got loads of hair in it, I'm sorry. Wet Brush Pro, if anyone's interested. Got it from TK Maxx. I want like a part in that's kind of clean for this, but it doesn't really matter. But how's everyone coping with lockdown because I feel like I'm not coping that well. I'm fine, but I don't know. I'm just not really enjoying it. Right, I just brush this like this into kind of how I want it. And then the most important part you need is one of these. This is from Primark. It was 80p, maybe 90 This is the trick to all sleek hair styles. This brush. I do use hair gel too if I want to. I am gonna. This hairstyle is best with dirty hair. If I'm wearing my hair like this, my hair is dirty. I am actually gonna put my contact lenses in because I can't see without my glasses, but it's kind of an inconvenience when you're trying to do beauty stuff. What you wanna do is literally it's really simple get it all in i don't really know why i'm telling you how i do this because i feel like you're gonna be like why do you think we don't know how to do that it's really simple but in case you don't i'm showing you then i just put it in a little pony uh, not pony a bun behind me and put two grips here because my hair's it's kind of grilled actually so it doesn't really matter that much anymore but it comes out because it's short grip those bits my um piercing's really hurting me today i don't know if anyone has this piercing or cartilage piercings in general i've had this for literally three years and sometimes when i sleep on it it just really hurts then the finishing touch spoolie in my hair gel i literally just stick it in and then just like brush my baby hairs in potentially should have shaved those bits i didn't want to take it too far because that's like actual baby hair it was hard to know at what point to stop I love these little cone things. I've said this before, but it was ages ago. If anyone has cartilage patients, like I just said, and they like swell, because mine swells when I sleep on it for me, this stuff, really good. So, I'm gonna do my face mask, and then I'm gonna tan. I feel like that'll make me feel better about myself. I've never used to have bags like this, like dark circles, but now, since I'm aging, it's a real problem for me, like dark circles. Does anyone else feel like, until they've got moisturizer on, they're, they just look horrible. Like right now, I look grim, but like if I put moisturizer on, I'll be all right. Like, my skin will like <laughs> i have paid to see 27 pound a month i have to pay to see if you don't have to do that you are lucky sheet mask with glycolic 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 acid for moisturized and hydrated skin i always buy the ones for moisturized and hydrated skin i normally buy the primark ones but you know primark's sure i know that this is bad for the environment using a sheet mask but i like them sorry if you're an environmentalist i'm sorry i do use reusable cotton pads this smells nice 
Last time I did a sheet mask on my channel, it gave me an allergic reaction. And if you've been here since then, you're an OG, because that was literally a year ago. Oh my god, I think it's nearly a year anniversary of my first video. And I'm back to where I started doing sheet masks. I really have come a long way. It's time to tan. I use this dirty skinny tan mitt. Tan I use is the Bondi Sands Aero Aerated Tanning Foam Ultra Dark. You know, I like tanned. I really like this one because like St. Roots makes me go a bit orange, whereas this I tan really well in the summer. This makes me go like the actual colour I tan, not like an orange tan. It's like more green undertone, which I prefer. I look kind of scary, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna go in. How's everyone doing? I feel like I should have said that before now. I'm standing here doing my arm on camera for a reason I'm unsure because obviously I'm not going to do my whole body on camera am I? So I'm basically just doing my arm and then I'm going to turn the camera off. I also have tried the One Hour Express one i've got that too so you'll want though that's also really good i just like any of the bondi sands like the aerated ones i'm gonna go off camera to finish my tan much tan much tanned much better more tanned by the way i thought i'd just share a trick with you all as you can probably see like around here is nowhere near perfectly smooth before when i was younger i had like tan and you like if any of it comes up came up patchy i'd be like shit now what am i gonna do patchy but if you don't know if you know sorry when you shower the next day when you shower it off if you use your exfoliation mitt without soap nothing just like screw it up in a ball and like go over the bit that's patchy it just gets rid of like the excess bit and makes it smooth it doesn't like take off the underneath bit only the top bit so yeah that's a good trick this that's now covered in tan is from primark it's got matching pants if anyone is wondering and yeah it is really dirty now because it's covered in tan it's really pretty when it isn't covered in tan and it was like a fiver i hate how the ice cubes come through in there it's so annoying i feel like it's maybe been like i don't think it's quite in 15 minutes but i don't know why there's anymore also before anyone comes to me this is obviously gonna wash off like it won't stay this color now is the fun part we get to test the Isle of Paradise tanning drops, which are meant to be amazing. So I'm really hoping that they are. The only thing, because normally, I can't lie, I actually do just put normal tan on my face. I just mix it with my moisturiser, put it on my face, Bob's your uncle. But my friend Elle, shout out to you Elle, asked me to try these. So here I am, which is definitely a bit of a cop up the hair because these are £19. Although I did get it on our fight, it was 15 so not so bad. This is £15, so basically I bought it and I'm about to try it to save her the money if it's shit. So thanks, Al. But yeah, the only annoying thing about this is like, I normally put just tan on my face, like I just said, but this is like a developing one. So like, I'm gonna have to walk around like this the rest of the day, which is fine, but like it's not evening yet. So if I go anywhere, I'm gonna look like an idiot. I'm gonna use the Drunk Elephant la la rep this is just a small one because you know i'm not made of money la la retro whipped cream creme foute what does that say i love this moisturizer but it's like 60 quid or some outrage how many drops one to one to 12 i think said one to two how do i know how many to put in so i just asked my friend how many drops she put in like because she's got this she said 15 that she put in she goes 15 and i went orange alice i know you're watching this you're an idiot who the fuck would put 15 drops in it, it says one to 12 i was gonna put three in but she says six maybe eight i'm gonna do six the amount of moisturiser in my hand can't take six drops of this. It smells phenomenal because it smells like a skincare product, not like a tanning product in the slightest. I've never smelled a tanning product to smell like this. And it's like a serum. I thought it would be like more water based. Oh my god, my skin feels incredible. Other than the fact that obviously it's annoying that you've got to walk around like this. First impressions, really nice. I'm worried what it's going to do to my hands though from doing the shave in it it feels incredible i take it back and i would recommend doing that now oh i feel so much better about myself i knew i knew i needed a pamper day i knew it that was bad bitch when you don't have acrylics on this is the future Maisie. Well, kind of. This is tomorrow Maisie from when I filmed just today. But I just wanted to sh do like a little insert to show you this face tan. I am like really impressed. Also, my skin still looks really glowy from shaving my face. Which I've now learned, do it with hyaluronic acid. I didn't do, if you're going to do it. Apparently that's what you meant to do, but I didn't do that. So do that. My skin looks great. I'm really, really impressed. Just picked up a Zara parcel, which I feel like is an addition to self-care. So, I don't know, so what? Just a little addition to say, like if you were thinking of getting this, then please do because I'm really impressed with the results. It's called really, this, I don't think they do a dark. I only could see they did light or medium. This is medium. This is, I did six drops, but then late at night, I did two more drops in my moisturizer before bed. And I'm really pleased with the results. It's really nice, natural looking tan. And it's on off of 15 pound at the minute. So I think you should get it. Look how glowy I look.
I obviously know that I've just, like, I don't know if it's the fact I've just shaved my face or those drops, but wow, I'm just looking in the mirror. Look how glowy I look. Wow, I look so, I knew, I, I just knew I needed this. I do look a state kind of still. I look a better state. To finish this little self-care afternoon, I'm gonna go for a walk. I am gonna insert a little update of this tan in the morning. I hope you enjoyed this little pamper day afternoon. I hope you pampered yourself with me. Well, this video is not really long enough for you to have done it with me, but I hope you're now pampering yourself because it's Valentine's Day and we should all love ourselves. You know, love starts from within. How can you love anyone else if you don't love yourself? I'm not very good at like these types of videos because I babble too much. Like there's no structure. I feel like it's just all over the place. So I am sorry about that. I can't lie, I am. But I did hope you enjoyed it either way. My candle's still going. I really feel like after doing all of that and just like talking to you, I really feel great. I can't lie. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a like and a subscribe and a subscribe and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. I'm gonna wipe my teeth. I didn't do that. I'm gonna wipe my teeth too. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye.